I sense this is a, a, a place of imagination, drawing on um, not only the places that we see now, but uh, creating images of, of, of people who, who, who trod um, the river backsides, who explored and lived and farmed and, uh, and fought, I'm afraid, here um, in centuries past. And I, I feel very much the, uh, the joy of conjuring up images of what it was like in historic days. And the Borders is so rich in layers of history. I'm a keen walker and we're spoiled for choice in this part of the world with places to walk. I think this is um, a, a very rich landscape, not only when you look round the countryside and see wonderful hills, um, two beautiful river valleys. I've climbed these hills all my life. Uh, I feel like uh, one of the sheep you see behind me, in a phrase we use in the borders, of hefted to the hillsides. That is, it, the sheep and the flock of sheep get to know the hills and they move up and down it. And uh, for me, coming back into this landscape is, is like coming home to a natural home. Beneath the surface um, are the, the trails of history. So if we go out to somewhere like Newark Tower, which was the setting for Walter Scott's Lay of the Last Minstrel. This is one of my favourite places in the borders. It, it has a great deal of history associated with it, but it's typical of our border fortresses, and you'll find several of them if you come touring here, all of them uh, with interesting stories attached to them. I think you can sense in this landscape and the beauty of the landscape why uh, poets were inspired. Books and writing are very much part of Border's history uh, and the minstrel tells his story about the Scottish Borders within this old keep here uh, and to me that makes it very special. I was born and brought up in the Scottish Borders and I live now uh, between the Yarrow and the Ettrick Valleys, two beautiful river valleys uh, at Bow Hill. It's really important that historic buildings and settings aren't just treated as a dead past, but for the potential they have to enhance our lives nowadays. So we have a little theatre here at Bow Hill. Um, uh, we have musical performances in the old chapel and in the drawing room. When I hear the house echoing with, with voices and discussion and, and, and laughter, um, I feel that it's um, being used as it should be. South of Scotland, um, it, like anywhere else, hasn't stood still. It clearly, it has welcomed into it people from many other parts of the country and, and indeed the world. And I think these communities are rich and full of energy and enterprise. And I think that the quality of life here, which can be um, in, enjoyed so close to a great city like Edinburgh to the north, or if you go across the border to Newcastle, and yet in such rural beauty and peace and make it a very special part of the world. Thank you.